This is Evmo from Dads on Tech. We're here with Warren Spector from uh, Disney Interactive Studios, and we're talking about Epic Mickey. So uh, this is a really op a big opportunity to be able to speak with you, and uh, I know that uh, we're running a little short on time, so we're going to have a really quick interview. But um, can you t just tell us a little bit about uh, Epic Mickey and, and tell us how this is? This is a pretty interesting, uh, you know, different appeal on the franchise. Now th this is a Wii game, right? Yeah. Yep. And uh, um, what what inspired you to, to, to think about making this game? Well, you know, when Disney comes to you and says, do you want to make a Mickey Mouse game? Anybody who thinks more than three seconds before saying yes, uh, you know, I don't even want to talk to those guys. So uh, they asked me if I was interested, and as a lifelong Disney fan, I had to say yes. But what, what really killed me was when they said, uh, oh, and by the way, we want you to bring Oswald the Lucky Rabbit back. <laughs> as soon as they said that, I kind of melted into a puddle on the floor and thought, they're giving me the, the symbol of the company and Walt's first cartoon star. Uh, I had to do it. I had to be making it. Yeah, the Oswald kind of took it backstage as soon as, uh, and, and Mickey kind of took the forefront. And if Oswald was allowed to continue, that would have been been pretty interesting as yeah, well, right? You know, if, uh, if, if Oswald hadn't been uh, lost in a contract dispute, it, it's really probable that uh, Mickey never would have existed. So uh, it's a big deal. And that's, that's kind of the heart of the story of the game, too. You know, Oswald resenting Mickey for, for stealing the life that should have been his. So they're brothers, and uh, Mickey has to redeem Oswald and, and uh, bring him back to, to fame and fortune. So that's what I hope what we're doing in the game. Can you tell me a little bit about how you decided to do the gameplay? I saw that there are some uh, uh, different modalities. There's the 2D and the 3D uh, kind of uh, uh, mode. Um, different, different. I know that you, you are fond of, of being able to do that kind of uh, uh, 2D uh, play play action mode on a couple of levels, but can you give us a little idea of the the play uh, the play and how how you decided to come about that? Sure, you know marketing guys hate me because <laughs> I, I I don't make you know platform games or action right. games or shooters or stealth games. I make games that that like a DJ mash up a bunch of stuff that doesn't belong together and then see what comes out of that. Right. So uh, I knew we had to do uh, the best of of Mario mashed up with the best of Zelda mashed up with the best best of uh, Deus Ex a game. I I did a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's a little bit of everything. Uh, those 2D platform sections, I just really wanted to, you know, honor Nintendo platforming games that, that I grew up playing, and I love them. Uh, and, uh, you know, also, I thought it was a really good opportunity to let uh, players explore cartoons in a new way. So all of those 2D sections are inspired directly by real Mickey cartoons, and they, they the artists did an amazing job. They look just like the real cartoons. Absolutely, and, and there are so many different pieces from different types of of, of cartoons that were, were done throughout the years. I know you went. You had some footage and uh, vault footage that you kind of uh, oh, yeah. played off of. That was that was yeah, very Yeah, Disney gave us full access to the archives, uh, all the characters, all the worlds, all the movies, all the characters. You name it. We we, we had access to all of that stuff. Uh, so uh, I, I think even if you're not a game fan, um, I think Disney fans will have plenty to like about this game because they're going to get to play the where did that come from game. You know, right. oh I remember that from Disney. Oh I remember that from Peter Pan. Oh wait, well wait. That looks like a character from Snow White, but not really. So lots of stuff that seems familiar, but it's kind of strange, all drawn from Disney's history. And we as a gaming platform, how did you decide on, on using that uh, with, with motion? And that was a very interesting decision as well. It was one of the first decisions we made, actually. Uh, you know, I, I, I knew um, I wanted to sort of remind Mickey that he's a cartoon character. Right. And so he had to be able to do sort of cartoony things. And what's more cartoony than using the stuff you're made of? I mean, cartoon characters, ink, paint you know, all that stuff. And so uh, the core thing you do in this game is you draw and erase using paint and paint thinner. Uh, and it's, I mean, I'm doing it right now. Even as soon as you start talking about painting, right. you got a paintbrush in your hand. And as soon as you start doing that, you go, hey, it's like a Wii remote. Cool. <laughs> you know, so uh, gestural control is real important. And the Wii is, uh, you know, the gestural control system. So there you go. Now, how did you decide on what type of Mickey you had? Because, there, you know, there are different Mickeys throughout the years. How did you decide on that? variant specifically? Well that variant specifically is our Mickey. It's unique. Right. It's brand new. But what we did is we we looked at all the Mickeys over all the years and I just sort of said, I like that, I like that, I like that. I like the rubber hose arms. I like the coal eyes. I like the white mask. I, you know, right. But I wanted to sort of I don't know, make them a little bit bigger, not quite so uh, so thin in the wrists and everything. And so um, it's a unique Mickey. It's our Mickey. It's the video game hero Mickey. And as far as uh, the age group that you're kind of going for, I mean, I know you know Disney is pretty much you know 
zero to you know 400. Um, so, what is there any specific group that you were looking to appeal to more than any other? Actually, the the target audience is it's eight to eighty. Uh, right. You know, one of the things that really inspired me to to be a part of this project was Disney is so good at uh, well at reaching kids certainly, mm -hmm. but also at, at at continuing to appeal to the the parents of those kids. And uh, all the games I've worked on, they be I've done a pretty good job of reaching eighteen to thirty four year old males. Mm -hmm. And I figured you know maybe I could help them sort of reach an older audience, but they could help me figure out how to reach reach kids. And so um, everybody at Disney is committed to making entertainment for families. A lot of them say it that way. Uh, I had a wonderful meeting with John Lasseter where he said we make entertainment for everyone, and that really resonated with me. So I don't want to put an age limit on this. We've tested it with nine year olds. We've tested it with fifty year olds, uh, and everybody's liking it in their own way. Right. Well, thank you for taking this opportunity to talk with us, and uh, we're looking forward to playing it uh, very, very well. I have it set up here, so I'm looking forward to playing with it. And if you're interested in checking out Epic Mickey, take a look, go to the store, grab it, try it. I'm sure you'll love it.